last 12 months, there's been huge demand for NVIDIA data center GPUs for AI projects. So naturally to support this, there's also been an explosion in data center GPU development too. So what does the 2024 lineup of server grade NVIDIA GPUs look like? Well, just over a year ago, the Ampere-based A100 was the flagship data center GPU, featuring 6,912 CUDA cores, 432 third gen tensor cores, and 80 gigabytes of HBM2 memory with two terabytes per second bandwidth. Now the range is topped by the Hopper-based H200, which has 16,896 CUDA cores, 528 fourth gen tensor cores, a huge 141 gigabyte HBM3E memory, and a massive 4.8 terabyte per second bandwidth. So now let's take a quick look at the architectural differences between Hopper, Ada Lovelace, and Ampere. Hopper GPUs are denoted by an H prefix and feature 4th gen tensor cores, 4th gen NVLink, 3rd gen NV switch, and PCIe 5. Ada Lovelace GPUs have an L prefix and also feature 4th gen tensor cores, 3rd gen RT cores, and PCIe 4, but no NVLink or NV switch. Then we have the oldest architecture, Ampere, which is denoted by an A prefix and features 3rd gen tensor cores, 2nd gen RT cores, 3rd gen NVLink, 2nd gen NV switch, and PCIe 4. Now, each NVIDIA data center GPU is designed with specific use cases in mind, such as AI, HPC, and rendering, to name just a few. As of early 2024, the range comprises of the H200, H100, A100, A30, L40S, L40, A40, A10, A16, the L4, and the A2. As you can see, the powerful deep learning AI and HPC GPUs are not designed to carry out visual workloads, and the various cards that excel at visualization and virtualize workflows are not good for demanding AI training or HPC. Let's first look at data-intensive workflows such as AI and HPC. Now, until very recently, the H100 was the flagship GPU with the most cores, plus 80 gigabytes of HBM3 memory. Now, it's fair to say that for most users, it is still the flagship GPU, as the H200 is identical in every way, except that the memory has increased to 141 gigabytes and upgraded to HBM3E with enhanced bandwidth, specifically for accelerating LLMs and generative AI projects. The A100 features either 40 or 80 gigabytes of HBM2 memory, but has fewer CUDA and third gen tensor cores. And while still a very powerful GPU, lags behind the H100 and H200. The H100 and A100 are available in both a compact SXM format and a PCIe version. The H200 is only available in SXM. Then, as you'd expect, the next GPU down, the A30, has fewer cores and memory again, and it's aimed at lighter workloads such as small batch AI inferencing. So if your intent is to use the same system for training and inference, then the A100 is the way to go. Now, it's worth noting here that the availability of some GPUs, such as the A100, have a lead time of around 12 months. So for this reason, NVIDIA introduced the L40S for AI workloads. Compared to the standard L40, it has specifically optimized tensor cores to give it much better performance when training and inferencing AI models. The L40, whilst an older card, is still very capable and is actually the flagship GPU for visualization applications, such as rendering an Omniverse Enterprise. It has plenty of CUDA cores, 4th gen tensor cores, and 3rd gen RT cores, plus 48 gigabytes of memory. The A10 and L4 act as entry points with further reduced core counts and only half the memory. The choice between these will likely come down to either the complexity of visualization or vGPU environment that you're working with. For virtual desktop services where demand from any individual user will be minimal, there's the A16. Having four GPUs enables the A16 to support many users at once. If low power is a must, the A2 card plays nicely in this space too. Needless to say, the full range of NVIDIA data center GPUs is available in our portfolio of servers from our award-winning 3XS systems. 
featuring up to eight GPUs with a vast range of CPU, memory, storage, and connectivity options. And all of our GPU servers include a three-year premium warranty. We can also provide supported pricing for academic and education customers. If you're still unsure of the ideal NVIDIA data center GPU for you though, the SCAN IT team is on hand to discuss your requirements or challenges on the usual contact details. So don't hesitate to get in touch and we'll see you next time.